mathematics of engineering so progression so we have three kinds of progression so first is arithmetic progression second harmonic progression and third is geometric progression so um, first na i-discuss natin is arithmetic progression so what is arithmetic progression a sequence of numbers called terms each of which after the first is derived from the preceding one by adding to it a fixed number called the common difference so example 4 7 10 13 16 so mapapansin natin na ang common difference nila is 3 so yung interval ng 4 at 7 is 3 7 at 10 3 then and 10 at 13 3 so tingnan natin tong example natin so uh, paano natin makuha yung end term ng uh, isang arithmetic progression so let's denote this first term as a1 a2 for the second term a3 for the third term and a4 for the uh, fourth term so sabi natin uh, meron silang common difference na which is 3 so para makuha natin yung a2 gagawin natin is a1 plus yung common difference nila na D so and para makuha natin yung A3 um, i-add ulit natin yung first term plus common difference so para makuha natin yung third term is twice ng D ang i-dadagdag natin so uh, 3 3 times 2 is uh, 6 plus yung 4 is 10 so para makuha yung third term which is 10 so para makuha natin yung fourth term i-add ulit natin yung first term plus 3D naman so para makuha natin yung n term so n term is equal to a1 plus n minus 1 times D so bakit n minus 1 dahil kung mapapansin nyo yung pattern nya kapag fourth term ang hinahanap natin so plus 3D kapag third term naman plus 2D so uh, ito yung gagamitin nating formula para makuha yung in term ng isang arithmetic progression. So, paano natin makukuha yung sum of n terms ng isang arithmetic progression? So, pag aadin lang lahat natin yung terms sa uh, sequence. So, sum of the n terms is equal to a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus n for the last term, a n. So, we can rewrite this as sum of the n terms is equal to a1 so para makuha yung a2 sabi natin kaina is i-add mo lang yung first term plus yung common difference nila so plus a1 plus d plus a1 plus 2d for the third term plus and for the last term is a n so this will be our equation 1 Ngayon naman, i rewrite natin itong equation 1 sa reverse order. So, S sub N is equal to, unahin natin yung last term which is yung AN. So, para makuha natin yung second to the last term is i-minus lang natin yung common difference nila. So, plus AN minus D plus AN minus 2D for the third to the last term. Hanggang makarating tayo sa first term which is yung A1. So, this will be our equation 2. Ngayon naman, ipag add natin itong dalawang equation na ito. So, adding these two equation, we will have 2 S sub N is equal to yung first term at yung first term pag a natin. So, A1 plus yung A N. A1 plus a n next a1 plus d plus a n minus d so magkakancel lang yung d dito kasi positive negative so magkakancel sila matitira na lang is a1 tsaka a n so plus a1 plus a n so the same for the third term plus a1 plus a n hanggang makarating tayo sa first sa first term tsaka yung last term dun sa equation which is a n plus a 1 so meron na tayong n terms ng a 1 plus a n kasi para parehas lang sila so we can write it as 
2 s sub n is equal to n times a1 plus a n so para makuha natin yung s sub n is i-divide natin both sides by 2 therefore s sub n is equal to n times a1 plus a n over 2 so ito yung gagamitin nating formula para makuha yung sum of the n terms ng isang arithmetic progression so uh, we can write it as sum of the n terms is equal to n times a1 plus so yung a n natin which is a1 plus n minus d n minus 1 times d over 2 so we can write it as s n is equal to n over 2 so a1 plus a1 so 2 a1 plus n minus 1 times d so these two formula same lang sila yung gagamitin natin para makuha yung sum of n terms of arithmetic progression so ito na yung formula natin kanina Para makuha yung n terms, a n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. And yung sum of the n terms is uh, uh, s n is equal to n over 2, 2 a 1 plus n minus 1 times d. So, yun. Yung mga elements natin, a 1 which is the first term. a sub n is equal to n term. d is yung common difference nila. So, a 2 minus a 1 is equal to a 3 minus a 2 is equal to a 4 minus a 3, etc. So, n is the number of terms and s sub n is sum of all the terms. So, yan yung example natin kanina. So, ngayon, example. Write the first six terms of the arithmetic progression. So, letter A. So, A sub 1 is equal to 11 and may common difference siyang uh, 3. So, para makuha natin yung second term to six terms ng arithmetic progression. So, sabi natin kanina. So, a sub 2 is equal to, i-add lang natin yung first term, 11, plus yung common difference nila, so 14. Ganun din sa third term, is equal to, yung previous term, which is yung 14, plus common difference, is equal to 17. Ganun din for the fourth term, is equal to 17 for previous term, plus common difference, so 20. And for the fifth term, Ganon din, previous term, 20, plus common difference na 3, is equal to 23. And for the 6th uh, term, so for the previous term, 23, plus 3, is equal to 26. So, letter B, so first term is 15, and common difference is negative 2. So, A sub 2 is equal to, for the first term, plus the common difference nila, which is negative 2. So, yung minus natin, 13 ang sagot. So, a sub 3 is equal to our previous term plus yung uh, common difference. So, negative 2 siya. So, yung minus na lang natin, minus 2 is equal to 11. And for the fourth term, is equal to previous term minus the common difference is equal to 9. Ganun din sa fifth term. So, 9 minus 2 is equal to 7. And for the 6th term is equal to 7 minus 2 is equal to 5. So, another example. Insert 5 arithmetic means between 13 and negative 11. So, ano ba yung arithmetic means? Ito yung terms in between the first and the last term. So, total, all in all, meron tayong uh, 7 terms dito sa progression na ito. So, we can write it as first term natin is 13. So, we have 5 arithmetic mean, means between them. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And for the last term is negative 11. So, paano natin makukuha yung terms in between them? So, sabi natin kanina, a n is equal to a1 plus n minus 1 times d. So, meron tayong first term which is yung 13. And meron tayong isa pang term uh, which is yung last term. Uh, 7 term, negative 11. So, we can substitute it para makuha natin yung common difference nila, which is yung D. At makukuha natin yung mga 
terms in between them. So, substituting, negative 11 is equal to first term, 13, plus, ano yung n natin? So, 7, 7 minus 1, times d. So, solving for d, d is equal to negative 4. Ngayon, makukuha na natin yung terms in between them. So, uh, a sub 2 is equal to yung first term natin, which is yung 13, plus yung common difference nila, which is negative 4, is equal to 9. a sub 3, ganun din, 9 minus 4 is equal to 5. And a sub 4 is equal to 5 minus 4 is equal to 1. And a sub 5 is equal to 1 minus 4 is equal to negative 3. And a sub 6 is equal to negative 3 minus 4 is equal to negative 7. So, ito na yung mga terms in between them or ito na yung arithmetic means. Next example, there are 9 arithmetic means between 11 and 51. What is the sum of the progression? Between 11 and 51, meron tayong 9 terms or uh, arithmetic means. So, ang total na uh, terms natin dito is uh, 11. 11 terms. So, which is yung 51, yun yung uh, last term natin, 11 term. And yung first term natin is 11. So, sabi natin, ang sum of the n terms is equal to n over 2 times 2a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. And para makuha natin yung a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. So, meron tayong last term. So, makuha natin yung d. So, 51. So, yung 51 which is yung 11 term. 51 is equal to a sub 1 which is yung first term. 11 plus uh, 11 minus 1 which dahil itong 51 that is 11 terms kasi 9 plus 2 so 11 so d solving for d we will have 4 therefore s sub n is equal to n which is 11 over 2 times 2a sub 1 11 plus 11 minus 1 times 4 which is yung common difference nila sum of the n terms is equal to 341 so yan yung magiging sagot natin next example find the sum of all even numbers from 0 to 20 so we will use again the formula a sub n is equal to a1 plus n minus 1 times d so, para makuha natin kung ilang terms yung uh, meron sa 0 to 20. So, last term is 420. So, 420 is equal to a sub 1, 0, plus n minus 1. Common difference, so even numbers, so 2, 4, 6. So common difference nila is uh, 2. So, multiply by 2. So, makukuha natin kung ilang number of terms. So, Solving for n, we will have n is equal to 211. Therefore, yung sum of the n terms nila is equal to n over 2 times 2a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. So, let's substitute. So, sum of the n terms. So, uh, sum of the n terms is equal to 211 over 2 times 2 times the first term which is 0 plus uh, n minus 1 so 2 1 1 minus 1 times the okay, common difference nila is 2 therefore sum of the n terms is equal to 44,310 let's proceed harmonic progression Sequence of numbers is said to form a harmonic progression if the reciprocals form an arithmetic progression. So, example, 
one half, one fourth, one six, at one eighth. So yung uh, reciprocal nila is nagform siya ng arithmetic progression. So two, four, six, eight. Example: Insert five harmonic means between four and sixteen. So meron tayong all in all meron tayong uh, seven terms dito sa harmonic progression natin. So para makuha natin yung uh, harmonic means niya, so we can solve for we can get the reciprocal of the first term. So kunin natin yung arithmetic progression niya. So 1 over 4 and yung last term 1 over 16. So magpo-form na ito ng arithmetic progression. So we we can use the formula of the arithmetic progression. So, a sub 1 is equal to 1 fourth and a sub 7 is equal to 1 over 16. So, kunin natin yung d. So, let's use the formula. a sub n is equal to a1 plus n minus 1 times d. So, a n for the 7 terms. So, let's substitute. 1 over 16 is equal to a sub 1, 1 fourth plus 7 minus 1 times d. So, solve for d. d is equal to negative 1 over 32. So, we can now solve for the a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4, a sub 5, a sub 6. So, a sub 2 is equal to yung first term natin, 1 fourth minus yung uh, common difference nila, negative 132 is equal to 7 over 32. So, a sub 3 is equal to 7 over 32 minus 1 over 32 is equal to 3 over 16. And a sub 4 is equal to 3 over 16 minus 1 over 32 is equal to 5 over 32 and a sub 5 is equal to 5 over 32 minus yung 1 over 32 is equal to 1 over 8 and a sub 6 is equal to 1 over 8 minus 1 over 32 is equal to 3 over 32 and a sub 7 is equal to 3 over 32 minus 1 over 32 is equal to 1 over 16. So, same siya dito, tsaka dito. So, ito na yung magiging sagot natin. Kukunin lang natin yung reciprocal ng A sub 2, A sub 3, A sub 4, A sub 5, A sub 6 sa arithmetic progression. At pakukuha na natin yung harmonic means between 4 and 16. So, a sub 2 ang reciprocal niya. So, 32 over 7. A sub 3, 16 over 3. A sub 4, 32 over 5. A sub 5, 8. And A sub 6, 32 over 3. 